Hello everyone. Myself Sangram. Uh, today we are going to uh, design the G plus three de uh, building design uh, with response spectrum analysis uh, in the StatPro software. Okay. First we have to do. We have to go to the geometry. Then we have to select the run structure wizard. Then the screen will uh, show this uh, parameters. Then wait for some time it's loading. Yeah. Uh, in this. It's still loading. It takes some time because this is uh, V8. I don't know. Then, huh? We have to go to the prototype, and then uh, the structure will come. Then we have to take the snap node beam, and this will show the x, y, and z meter nodes. Then we have to insert the nodes here. Yeah. The cut. Then uh, we have to select the cut section. Here, as I selected, then select to view window rubber band. Okay, then it will give the plan view. Then we have to cut the bottom section of that uh, whole building as we cut it. Then we have to show see the isometric view of that uh, last story. Then add nodes in that. After that, we have to join. The side uh, side bars, side beams, like this. Yeah, we join the side beams. Then we have to copy paste for the all whole building. Then we have to. It's loading now. We have to give the X bracing. Like, wait for some time. It's still loading. Yeah. Then we have to give the expressing. After this, before that we have to take this, select this bottom story, and translation repeat for whole structure. Yeah. The number of step we are having is uh, G plus three. That's why three. And the default step spacing is. Three meter. Then okay. Then we have to go to the edit. Uh, sorry, this one is extra one. That's why we have to delete it. Then we have to global direction in y direction. And number of steps we are having. We know that three. And the default steps we think is again three meter. Then okay. Save. Structure has been modified. Now our structure has been modified. See, it will take some time for loading. Yeah. Then we have to go to this, select this, and we have to select the uh, beam structures that we are taking. This is our redundant view. That what we have selected it will show. What we have did in last command, it will show in this redundant view. Yeah. Then uh, we have to go for this view from Z direction. Then it will show like this grid pattern. Then this we have to select so go to the general settings. In the general settings. We have to go for the support, and support we have to create. Yes, and uh, as we give the restraint conditions, then after that, support number two we have given. Then again we have to cut the uh, last note because we have to assign the nodes. So we have assigned the nodes, and again. We have to give the property. We have to define the properties. So we are taking this rectangular, which are of size 0.3 by 0.3 meter. Concrete, yes. 
then again we have to take again our property 0.5 by 0.5 add it whatever we will add it will show in this right beam sizes then the thickness of this lab is whatever we want to find it is a standard side we have to take then add and close now we'll go to the whole structure this will see like this because we have uh, fixed this foundations like this then beam parallel to x we took we have to select and we have to go to beam parallel to z also 27 like it shows that 27 beams then that provision it will show this diagram whatever because this will show that whatever the beam size column size slab size then beam parallel to y direction yes it will come like this then again we have to go for the slab then it will come like this yeah come like this then load definition here we have to go definitions then we have to take the seismic definitions we have to add here the value for zone but we have to select this in uh, first the in uh, indian 1893 2002 because this is latest version and then we have to give the value for this zone point uh, zone value is 0.36 then the response spectrum is one importance uh, factor is one and uh, rock soil uh, rock soil side factor is uh, one then here importance factor we have to here we have to put the response reduction factor is 1 then we have to change it and we have to put it to 5 importance factor we have to take it here 1 and rock and soil side factor is 1 we will change this to 2 and type of structure is steel is 1 and damping ratio 0.5 add we will add this self factor is 1 yes i have to go to the uh, member weights it is loading interface you have to change you need weight we will give the weight like uh, 2 kilo newton per meter 0.25 kilo meter per meter we will add an element weights will give the pressure as In kilometer per meter square will give as a three. Now we will proceed. The structure has been modified. I will save. The pressure will give as a three point one two five element weights. Then we we'll close. Now we will go to the unit number two point whatever we give whatever as we give the loading. Then same like beam parallel to x direction. Again, beam parallel to z direction. and after that we will assign method for the beams this pressure 3.125 we have assigned then we have to select this assign to view now uh, okay will take some time okay then uh, we have to add this primary and primary first we have to know uh, what seismic analysis we are going to do response factor analysis so we have to give the time stamp that response factor analysis case add now in factor we have to put in x in factor equal to 1 add it self weight load also y direction and also in z direction One, one, one. We have to. After adding this, we have to go to the physical member load, member load, uh, member load. Then uniform force. We have to give here that value is two point two kilonewton per meter. 
and direction j x we have to add again y direction g y we have to add again z direction g z we have to add then we have to go to the floor load floor load we gave 3.125 kN per meter square then again we have to add this range uh, i forgot that we have to give the range for this maximum up to 12 meter because we are having g plus 3 so then this one give the self weight of x1 this one give the self weight at y1 this one give the self weight at z1 these are the three diagrams then gx gy gz whatever the unit weight we have applied up to 2.2 Five kilo newton per meter. Then, same like that, parallel to x, parallel to y, and parallel to z. This will give the response spectrum analysis of this G plus three building design. Yes, and the response spectrum analysis of the G plus three building using response uh, G plus three de building design. Using the response spectrum analysis method, yeah. Then, in last, we have to do the seismic loads. We have to give this is factor direction. In seismic loads, we have to give the response spectra. As one eight nine, yeah, as one eight nine three, we are using the combination equal to CQC, and we have to give it as a medium soil. And the direction x and z directions. In z directions, we will put that value in one and x also one. Then add it. Then after that, we'll close. Then we will go here. See spectrum, CQC, whatever we applied. We'll give you like this. Now we have to go to the material and assign to view. Yes, and then we have to go to the analysis and print. No print. We will go click on add. Close it. Now we have. Now we are going to run this program. After running the structure, it will show the. It will take some time. Yes, uh, it will take some time. Wait. Yeah, our response spectrum analysis case, as we gave the name. Yeah. Now we have. We'll pick the animation deflection for this uh, building. Apply. See, this is the response spectrum analysis for the G plus three building. Using StatPro VTI version, and these are the bending at Z. FX, FY, FZ will get. If after clicking this, we will get the response spectrum analysis. Yes. These are the MX, MY values. If we click on that, we will get. And these are the total values as per the nodes beam. Uh, how much beam? Uh, or each beam, how much it will taking the nodes on node number, fx, fy values, fz values, mx, my, mz values on each beam. In that each beam, each node, whatever the values, it will come. Now we have to save this. Well, in save, that's it. We have to save in our file. Okay. Yes, and start output. We have to give. And start pro. Yes. Yeah, we have to save this. That's it. Okay. This is our last.